Hello and welcome to Empire of War Games. My name is Eplash and today we are talking about a new product from the Citadel Paints Labs. It's going to be something bigger than usual because there is a full trailer on the Warhammer community website. The link will be down in the description below. And yeah, it's a, it seems to be a bigger product. Let's speculate a little bit. Let's brush aside things that are definitely not going to happen. And yeah, I would be interested to hear your opinions on the whole thing as well. If you enjoy the content, consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing, as well as checking the links down below in the description if you want to support me. I created an Instagram account, which will be an archive of all my painted models, so if you want to follow me over there, check it out. Alright, so as I said, the link will be down in the description below or in the pinned comment. And there is something bigger coming from the paints team. So let's take a look. The title says the next evolution of Citadel color paints is coming. Well, evolution could mean a lot of things. It could obviously mean that they are upgrading their entire range again or renaming their entire range again. I hope that is not the case. They've been renaming their stuff way too often and making minuscule changes to their paints. Just so, uh, I don't know, older paints are not compatible anymore. It was very, very weird. They changed pot design a lot. So that might be it, but I really doubt it. All right, let's keep on reading. Next uh, article says, Down here in the Warhammer bunker, we've been seeing a lot of people scurrying around with white coats, clutching mysterious beakers in many mysterious hues. That can only mean one thing. The Citadel Color Labs have made another breakthrough. We went on a hunt for more information and managed to sneak out this teaser trailer. And next in the Warhammer Community article, there's obviously the trailer. We are going to watch it in a little bit. And then it says, the last time we saw this much excitement from the paint slabs, we ended up with the spectacular Citadel Contrast paint range. And what a revolution that was. What do you think is coming? Let us know your best guesses on all the social medias and so on. So let's take a look at the trailer real quick or the teaser and then comment on it a little bit. I'm actually going to give my live reaction, quote unquote. So we see a space marine that is completely gray. And then you see paint splatters of blue and gold and all the details. And suddenly the space marine is painted. Wow. That is what we all want. <laughs> we just want to splatter our miniatures and they are painted. That would be the dream. But we see a lot of metallic paints, as you can see. There are a lot of metallic hues in there. And that could already give us an idea. They are, all, they are all using a lot of metallic paints here. At least that's what it looks like. It's all 3D rendered, obviously, but all of the paints really look like they have those little metallic flakes in them to make things look a little bit more shiny. And that was the entire teaser. And let me just get out one thing out of the way. If you got any idea from this trailer that we are getting dropper bottles, I would really like to see where you see dropper bottles referenced in this teaser at all or in the article or anywhere. <laughs> this is not going to be about dropper bottles at all. Cit Citadel or Games Workshop would need to replace a lot of their range, their um, paint pot holders, their uh, storage boxes for paints, their entire freaking range and production line would need to be uh, to get changed up just for dropper bottles. And I don't see that happening anytime soon. I hope it is going to happen somewhere down the line, but I doubt it's going to happen in this decade, to be completely honest. So yeah, dropper bottles are definitely not going to happen um, as far as this teaser goes, at least. Um, yeah, so keep just keep that in mind then. Dropper bottles, probably not. So then what could it be? My best guess and the thing I agreed with it, with a lot of people on social media is definitely that what we've seen in the teaser are metallic contrast paints. I'm not 100% sure how that would work because as I said, there are little metallic flakes, not really um, the expensive stuff or anything, but they're just little reflective kind of things inside the paint and that makes the paints a little bit more reflective and look metallic. And putting that into a paint that is a little bit more liquid and has a little bit more of a washy kind of feel is a little bit more difficult. We've seen it already with um, glossy washes. There is a non-oil gloss, Reichlein Flash Shade gloss, and I'm missing one. I think it is Agrax Earthshade gloss. And we've already seen that and it works out fine, but a lot of people are not applying that gloss 
um, shade directly they're mixing it with the regular variant so that the recesses are not um, glossy and, and sparkly but rather everything else so it's kind of a mixture thing and you usually don't see it apply straight out of the pot at least that's what i wouldn't recommend now how would that work with contrast paints they just throw it in there you you know paint the entire miniature in the kind of metallic blue you want uh, they are probably going to um, either put those metallic flakes inside the paint which will make things way more difficult for them production wise and figuring out how the paint works or they are just going to make a new co uh, contrast paint range that works way better over lead belcher that would be the easiest way for them to do but on the other hand you can just use regular contrast paints on lead belcher and you have a metallic paint color and it works i have miniatures myself you can see them on the screen right now these dudes are just lead belcher spray and warp lightning contrast paint that's it it's just thinned down uh, warp lightning applied in three coats so it looks a little bit more even and not that you know weird with all those um paint lines and so on um contrast tends to uh, dry a little bit weird so you just apply a lot of thin coats and you're done you have your metallic green as you can see on the screen so i really hope it is those metallic kind of things inside the paint and i hope this is what we're getting now what else could it be it could be that we are getting a paint that doesn't require you to have a prime model you just take the paint and apply it on the model and it sticks now that already exists there's brush on primer and so on but having an actual range with a lot of with quite a lot of base colors um or the, just the base range being able to apply it to the raw plastic of the miniature and it being primed quote unquote would be a revolution you would make things a lot easier for a lot of people that live in flats and cannot spray prime their models easily and that's that those are the two things i'm going to go with those two things seem realistic to me at least according to the teaser could it be anything else if you have any ideas drop them in the comments below but i'm fairly certain like 90 percent sure it is going to be some sort of metallic contrast paint or anything that works with metallics and contrast in combination and that's going to be it no dropper bottles um i can't wait for, for gw to announce dropper bottles this year but i don't think it is going to be this in july that's just that's just not going to happen other than that yeah could it be something else i don't know i have not seen any other cool ideas over on social media and i didn't come up with any of myself so yeah if you have any other ideas than whatever i have mentioned in this video drop it in the comments and i would really like to read what you think this could be other than that i hope this was insightful and a little bit interesting and i hope to see you in the next video thank you so much for watching Bye bye